When working with a large hunk of clay like this, no, oh, come on now. Your fist has a lot more power than your hand. You and me, babe. You and me, babe. You're just nothing else but you. We're ready to go. Your fist has a lot more power than your hand. And then when you go to press in on it, you can press in like this with both hands and you'll have more, more power and less restraint on your left hand. But you need to treat it as two different sections. So the lower section and then the upper section. Then push in and down with both hands and that should help you a lot in if you have a hard time centering a large amount of clay. Did I say this was four pounds? I think I said this was four pounds. This is four pounds of clay. Once you have it mostly centered, you can stand up and push down. And you can pull back. I'm actually kind of pulling back with the heel of the hand here, pulling back. I'm not using really my fingers. I'm pulling back with the heels of my hand. On both sides. Uh, okay, now we have a mostly centered hunk of clay. Drop a tiny hole to find your center, but then leverage your body weight and your bicep by using your fist. So you got the fist in the middle the forearm on the top and the left hand on the outside. By pushing in, standing up and pushing in with my fist, I'm able to use my bicep and my body weight to push in and drop a hole. It's difficult for me to drop the hole all the way down when doing that. However, the walls stay centered. And now I'm just dropping a hole as if I were like a mug. And that's not hard. And when I get to the depth that I like, I'm going to pull back and all of those rings on the middle will magically go away. All right, that looks 
gorgeous. Now, one thing with bowls uh, that is a factor is getting the roundness on the inside. And some people have, there's lots of different ribs to do this with if you want to use a rib, which I like to use a rib. There's, you know, big ones like this. There's coconut ribs, which is what I like. There's big, massive things like this. Um, but I like the coconut rib and I like it because it goes up here, it goes up here, it goes up here, and it goes up here. So you're basically throwing with a little mini bowl in there. And what that means is that you, if you cross the center line, it's not going to scar your pot. So, as long as you're out far enough, that is, which I'm not right now. So right now I'm just gonna push in Push in and down at the rim of your pot until you reach the bottom. But this will make clay flow into your floor. And it looks like my center came up. Yep. And my center came up really a whole lot in the middle. So now I can take this red back to the center and do that again and sometimes i'll get a big old wad of clay yeah coming off in the back and sometimes it'll just drop real beautifully but sometimes it will in fact get a big old wad of clay on the back here's the cool thing though if i get the curvature of my bowl set from the beginning then I put a memory into my clay that I can come back to later on. All right. Now that we got a hole dropped and we've got a clay memory going on, I'm gonna pull the clay back just like I would if I was pulling a cup. I'm going to make sure that my walls are even. And now I can start my pull. I like to pull larger bowls off the front facing side of the wheel. Got a little, little spot here that wants to come off. Let it come off. Do you have problems with your rims flaring when you're trying to throw a straight cylinder? Well, watch the left here. As I pull straight up, it stays straight. But as I get to the top and begin to lean back, here comes that flare, and that'll happen in a mug if you're sitting down. And in a really big bowl, it'll happen in the bowl if you're sitting down, as it did here. And I almost lost it completely. a pretty good height. Let me see what that is. That's five inches. If I can continue to keep it at that height, I'm happy with that. Now my walls are more even than they were. 
I got my elbow up in the air. That was key for me, learning that. And now I'm gonna go back to this, because again, this is the shape that we set in to begin with, and I'm gonna hold it with that rounded part there. That way it can move around on the clay and not jab into it. And this time I'm really just pushing out. and see where, where the clay is thickest. I've lost a little bit of my height, but that's okay. That's to be expected. Moving the clay into the spot so I have an even wall thickness Never want to start a pool without an even wall thickness. For some reason, I got a lot down at the bottom there. Not so much coming up the sides. Ladies and gentlemen, it's gorgeous. All right, let's look at how big we are here. Nine inches across. That's the whole wheel because I'm on a square bat. And five inches high. And it could go further than this. Or I could stop there, either, either way. I'm just going to enjoy shaping this. is not going to be nearly this big uh, when it is finished because it's going to shrink <laughs> but what a fun chips you know a bowl for light chips and salsa that kind of thing super cool I'm just going to make sure keeping our floor 
pour thickness under control so I don't have so much to trim. Because that floor wants to lift up. Why does the floor want to lift up? Good question. Because <laughs> the clay goes to the path of least resistance. That's why. Just like water. Look at you. You're so pretty. complain about that. All right, where'd my chamois go? That, I can complain about a lot. We're not gonna use chamois. We'll use the sponge. Where'd the sponge go? Can't help me. Love that little flare out at the top. Super cool. Got a bowl for the chips. Now we need one for the ranch and the salsa. <laughs> Nesting bowls should stand at the same height and have the same distance between them when nested. So that's where we're going next week. Hit that subscribe button. That's not. This is this floppy mess is not what I want for a sponge. Sponge. Sponge! The right sponge is important. I mean, I'm just saying. Well, you might be able to. I can't. Aw, little dude. It's okay. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I do hope you found some of this content useful. But you might also enjoy heading on over to calustimily.com where you can buy some of this stuff and take it home with you. Once I get it finished, that is.